what's going on guys to see if you back with another video today i'm going to uh be showing you how to hit double taps consistently i was gonna play ones i wasn't feeling good enough for it but i am feeling good enough to kind of showcase how to hit double taps and explain kind of what the hardest part of a double tap is so the hardest part of a double tap is actually reading the ball when it comes off the wall like this one i think it's gonna go down it didn't you see it, it's it's really difficult to kind of judge how the ball is going to react. Um, especially when you don't have good depth perception. But I'm going to be showing you how to basically do this and then smack the ball and then get in position for the double tap. So to actually do a double tap, right, you're going to want the ball rolling up the wall. It's the same as an air dribble setup. And then you're going to kind of just flip into it and smack it. It helps if you hit towards like the middle bottom part of the ball you can typically get it to go further and then again the hardest part is just reading it um but once you actually get comfortable with just doing this you can start working on adjusting your car and uh getting the moment not the momentum the angle that you need so like this one right here i know it's gonna stay pretty high but i misread it i stayed too high and that is like what i see most people and myself doing a lot whenever i miss double taps that one's just in um is misreading it so really what that comes down to is just practice it's just doing this hundreds of times i did not mean to go for a flip <laughs> doing this like literally hundreds of times i have spent hours um trying to learn the reads of balls so i can do that and uh one thing that has helped me the most and i'm gonna show you is a training pack called double tap playground here's the code on the right hand side of the screen uh take a moment pause type it in whatever you need and you're gonna go into this pack it has shots for beginners intermediate and even experts so that one this this one is like a good starting area to kind of just get used to hitting the ball to the back ball to the back wall you don't necessarily have to double it the first time right just get comfortable with okay i got that touch now where do i need to be right i was uh trying out this pack earlier because i remembered i had it but like that right that's what you want to get good at just hitting the ball in a good spot where you can follow it up stay behind it you're kind of slow enough to get the read but fast enough to where uh if a defender jumps you're gonna score it that one was really well placed this one as well pretty good setup just like i was showing you in uh training i kind of messed it up okay. so like this one right it's just like i was showing you in training you're going to stop, hit it, and then try to angle yourself for the double tap. Um, you know, don't be discouraged if you don't get it the first time. It is it's really difficult to read the ball. That is the hardest part of really Rocket League in general is learning where the ball is going to go. So like this one, it's rolling to you. Bounce it up and try to get an angle on how to score it. And you can just do this for all these shots, right? Like this one. Work on just going up hitting it to the back wall, and then at least getting close to the, I redirected that, close to the uh, to the touch. You don't necessarily have to touch it, right? We're learning here. That's the whole point. You're going to make mistakes. That was a good touch. I just missed a double, misread it. So, you know, don't be discouraged whenever you're doing it. And, you know, even if you mess up, try to turn it into something cool while you're at it, you know? You're learning. Might as well try learning different things. Like there was one of these shots this one I like as well. It rolls to you. You kind of go up for like an air dribble setup, hit a little bit harder, and then readjust. But um, there was one of these that like the ball was coming at me almost like this, but from the side. And I started going for uh, sidewall reads. Like I tried sidewalling it twice, you know? So don't be discouraged if you can't get it. But like this shot right here, this is probably one of the harder double taps to do in the game. Um, you're going to have to touch the ball a little late to skim it forward and then get the read all in once so it would look not like that it would look something like that but then kind of get the read which i honestly thought it was gonna get post and don't be scared you know like me right now i'm actually scared to send that ball but it's just it's something like that right you just want to work on getting the touch and then getting the double tap or at least angling your car to where you're you are close to the ball. Whoops. So like this one, this would be a good uh, beginner point here, right? The ball's gonna bounce straight up. 
hit it to the back wall, work on reading. No matter how slow you have to go to start, right? The whole point of this is to get good enough to where you can go faster and even do something like that, maybe. Like, so if I go for Arsenal reset, I meant to musty it, but I didn't. And that's kind of like what an example of a double tap in that situation would look like. It's really just all practice, learning how the ball's going to bounce, learning how it's going to roll like this one. I didn't go nearly high enough here. And then you want to throw it to the wall, which I got two under the ball. I lost my flip on that one. Wow. Just make sure to practice. Don't get, don't get discouraged. Um, I've messed up a couple times while recording this. You probably won't see it, but it's um, it's a learning process for sure. Like this one, right? You're going to have to set it up yourself. You're going to have to get the touch, go up, touch it forward. I hit it up. Ceiling double. But just work on getting those reads down maybe. And then uh, eventually, honestly, it'll come to you. You'll, you'll realize that you're actually getting consistent at it. And uh, you won't feel as nervous or as discouraged to go for him in game this is honestly how i learned i spent hours doing this which you know people learn at their own pace my hardest thing was figuring out where the ball's gonna go i really like this one but yeah that was it for today's video guys thanks for tuning in if you made it this far in the video i love you and i hope to see you in the next one peace